Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about the flowers of a Wortheolimifolia or also known as the twirl. The Wortheolimifolia or the twirl is a succulent from southern Africa that looks similar to miniature aloe vera plants. They make attractive flowering house plants that usually bloom in the summer months. If the plant is healthy and has been treated well all year, then it is likely to produce some flowers in the summer. The Wortheia are normally small succulents that can range from 4 to 20 cm, while the flowering stem usually grows longer and skinny. On mature plants that are well taken care of, the stem can grow increasingly long. When the flowers bloom, they normally appear on the end of a long stem. This is called inflorescence. As the stem grows longer, more buds will appear along the end. Your Eworthia may need few years to mature before it is ready to flower, but when the time comes for it to flower, try adjusting it to half day of morning sun, because the extra light will help your plant to chemically produce what it needs to flower. Keep it in an area where it gets no more than 4 to 6 hours of weaker morning sunlight. Apart from the right amount of light, your Eworthia will also require all of its usual care conditions to be just right for it to produce flowers. This usually means a lot of morning light, a regular watering regime, and good draining soil. Many succulents are monocarpic, which means they flower once and then die. The Wortheolimifolia is not monocarpic, so they do not die after flowering. It can flower several times without dying, that is why the flowering stem is able to grow as long as it does. When the Wortheia blooms, it's quite nice but not the most spectacular of blooming succulents. More mature plants may produce more flower buds. These cute little buds produce small white and green flowers. Since the plant doesn't die off after flowering, it has the potential to grow more buds each summer. If you treat it right, you may be rewarded with more flowers every year. So this is the flower of the Eworthia limifolia and it's really cute and tiny and when it blooms it has the color of white flower. Since Eworthia don't die after flowering, the bloom stem can continue to grow. If let to grow, the bloom stem can grow to be over 16 inches. So this is the stem of the Hyperthia. Some people find this really interesting to just let grow while others like to trim it. If you find it interesting too, then you can allow it to keep growing and see how tall it gets. However, if it gets too long, it can start to look a little out of place. So if you're waiting for it to die off, you will likely to be waiting for a very long time. To keep your plant looking tidy and well maintained, it's a good idea to trim the stem back after it's finished flowering for the season. The best way to do this is by cutting the stem down to a couple of centimeters once the flowers have died. Fortunately, Hiworthia is a succulent that doesn't die after flowering. These pretty plants are tough, easy to maintain, and live for a long time. Their attractive looks and long life is part of the reason they have become such a popular house plant. If you take good care of them, they should bloom for you every summer and live in your house for many years. I hope you learned something today and I hope to see you in my next video. 
spread love and keep planting